You will need to open 100 volts to unlock these seals, and I'll show you how to optimize that achievement to acquire them sooner and flex like a boss. I rarely see them in the horizon, making them a unique presence, and I'll tell you why. Fuzzy here, sit back, relax, and enjoy. I consider them the hardest seals to achieve alongside the Silent Barnacle. For example, opening 100 gold hoarder vaults is very time consuming. Unlike Dark Adventure seals, where Alliance servers can obtain 8 million gold in one session to get them. In addition, Alliance servers have no effect or boost. Even Golden Glory, Community Days and so on have zero impact on sales like these. And opening them only counts for the crew that opened the vault, making them a true challenge. However, I'll show you how you can finish these sooner than you think. This commendation, Seeker of Ancient Vaults, sits under the Gold Order tab and is the requirement to get them. Using a specific Captain Voyage can significantly increase how fast we get these. First, this commendation only requires you to open the vault, which means placing the key in the required location. That's it. So if you don't want the gold or the other sales by selling 50 ancient tribute chests, you can just open them and leave everything inside. At least that's what I did because I already have everything else and maxed out on gold hoarder. Second, a better voyage doesn't mean faster or greater. We have to focus on the captain voyage gold hoarder commission bundle and not the prized one because the prized one for level 50 gives you a golden key which means more fabulous treasure inside the vault and the stone key gives you less gold which is acquired from the non-prized commission bundle the one that says level 25 but you might wonder if i'm aiming for these sales and doing vault keys wouldn't a golden key be better anyways since we are only focusing on the commendation the trick here a greater vault has five map pieces to reveal the buried keys location which is the golden key you might show the area of the X in many of the pieces. For example, if you get it in the first one, you have a chance to reveal the area of the X in any of the pieces, and by digging that you get your hands on the key. For example, if you get it in the first one, it makes the rest unnecessary and you can go ahead and open the vault. This means with 5 map pieces, there is a 1 out of 5 chance of getting the X marks a spot earlier. But a lesser vault, which makes no difference in the count of this commendation, only requires 3 map pieces to reveal the location of the stone key, meaning that the chance of getting X marks a spot from the first dig is higher, 1 out of 3, giving you a much higher opportunity of revealing the X earlier. With 100 vaults to open, this will significantly affect how fast you get your hands on the key. But there's one more thing, like the merchant voyage I showed in my video. Vote for these quests on the west side of Shores of Plenty, so it can give you closer islands, clear water and the horizon to get these done faster. Others prefer the Devil's Roar, but I'm not a fan of waiting for volcanoes to calm down, which makes it your preference to choose. I usually stack keys of 5, open them in a row, so as soon as you get your hands on the key, cancel the voyage, head back to the west of Shores of Plenty, vote for it again, rinse and repeat. Don't forget that having an Emissary Gold Order flag that you reset every time you reach 5 will also count toward other commendations within the Gold Order, giving you stacks of Emissary Voyages to claim each time you hit level 5 on your flag, ending with a ginormous amount of captain chests to achieve these emissary ledger rewards. This allows you to unlock so many different cosmetics simply by choosing the level 25 gold hoarder commission bundle and getting the stone key. Please subscribe if you found this helpful. Fuzzy here, happy sailing.